All right, and now the final thing on this list, and this one is the one that I'm working on right now, obtain multiple streams of income. And that's the reason why I I saved this one for last because it circles back to the beginning of our conversation. I know that, you know, you are thinking about cutting the cord on the second gig, but it is in reality a second stream of income. And as long as it is, do what you got to do to hold on. Now, I understand with your situation, there's only so far you can go and there's only so much you can take. Because if I was in the same situation, I would do the same thing that you're contemplating. But uh, for everybody out there, whatever your situation is, obtain multiple streams. Your DJing gig, that is a multiple stream. I know you were uh, working on getting a, a landing a, a, a good one there the other day. You had shot me a text. Uh, fingers crossed for you, by the way. Hope that uh, that works through. Still waiting on that call. And if you do get it, you know, that's something. And the good thing about whether it be photography, DJing, stuff like that, it's pretty much cash under the table. It really is. You're not taxed on it. What you charge is what you get. Now, granted, the bigger you are, you may want to start, for people that own their own business, investing in a either a tax ID number or going incorporated. That's a whole nother thing that other people can check into. I don't know about you. RJK Productions is not that big, so I'm not worried about that right now. Yeah, I'm not worried about this. But you know what's wild, though? Like I said, you know, tax-free and stuff. When I, you know, the one corporate event I did and a couple of school gigs I've done, it's been straight payroll checks that they've given me. Tax free, and as you know, you would think that they will, you know, since it's coming from their budget and everything, that they will hit with something. But it was uh, was like, hey, it is what it is. I'll tell you. No, because you know, because of funding, when it comes to corporations and schools, Mm -hmm. they 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 cut that check because they can write that off. Yep. And that's one thing that's not on this list that I guess I should bring up taxes understand your taxes because there are things that may be owed to you that is not put out there straightforward um i'm not saying try to get over on the government but i'm saying look at what's coming out of your check every week and understand that you are definitely entitled to get most of that back and and not just that Depending on your situation, you may be entitled for more, i.e., um, if you have multiple children, you may be uh, able to get certain subsidies. Uh, you may uh, end up, if you have disabilities, you may have something that could be coming from the government. It, it's, it's all kind of things that could come to you. You do have to do the research. So you can't just sit there and say, hey, woe is me. I wish I could do more. You got to put in the legwork, and if you put in the legwork, I guarantee you will find you will dig up something, uh, and it can work out for you. Well, I agree with that. Um, like I will tell people that whole buy a house get these tax credits. That's bullshit. Just want y'all to know that houses aren't tax write like people think, unless you're making your shit solar. To the upteen power energy efficient, you're not getting anything off your house. It, you, it's just not going to happen. Or unless you got this banging expensive ass house, not going to happen. They they put you through the ringer to give you one dime off your property. So don't think because you got property, you automatically go get something. This past year, the biggest tax turn I've ever got in years. But I'm already knowing next year, because I've worked pretty much all, well, not all this year, but majority of this year, fingers crossed, I've worked. I'm probably going to end up owing because they gave me such a good return this year. So it's, I expect that. Then the next year, I'll probably break even because it'll still just be, be me or whatever. But yeah, don't, well, don't I fall. I tell you what. Um, 
slightly off topic, but slightly not. I'd looked in to converting the house to solar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I said, I looked in. That's where it stopped. Mm-hmm. Man, um, it costs hella money just to convert. Yep. So it could be a good while before you start to see a return on your investment. Yeah, um, uh, one of those soccer coaches from the girl scene, I'm cool with it. He, um, they went solar panels on their house with a light company. And you put, you gotta put too much trust in them. Cause it's like, you know, how far the energy that he absorbs or whatever, then say he absorbs 5,000 kilowatts or whatever, but his house only used 1,500. So he got like 3,500 that's sitting there. He sells that back to KCPL and they cut him a check. I don't trust that. Why Why would you cut me a check and just not just give me credit? Yeah. You know what I'm it's like, it's, it's too much back and forth going on to where you got to stay on it to make sure they're not on you in a bad way. Then on top of that, what if we have a bunch of dark days, one month, a lot of rain and stuff, I may end up on you because I ain't got no power. And that's when you got to kick in with power. So it's like you're never truly free of electricity in some regards. I don't know. Um, some of the things I was looking into, those panels create almost a two-week reserve. Now, besides money, one of the things that I did not like about them, and this is one thing that they don't tell you, those panels have to be replaced quite frequently. Really? Really? How much um, is the oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. It's, I mean, it's, it's too much. Yes.